Last thing I want to cover, and this is always continuing to be a big one for a lot of people, is the bank data information. Again, guys, when you are going to, and I'll give you an example here. Let me try to get off of this screen here very quickly. There's a lot of people who have gotten paid today. There are a few people that did not get paid today. And they wonder why. It's because they entered in their bank data information in correct way, and the funds were returned back to Telex Free, which means now it's going to be going back into that person's account. So the way that you do this, ladies and gentlemen, is this. I'm going to go ahead and log in very quickly here. And again, all of these are going to be up on the video. This is the only video that's not up yet, but it will be up very soon. And let's see if this will let me in. You know, one more second here. I don't know. This computer is moving really, really slow. Definitely going to have to reboot it. When you log in, hopefully you guys can see my screen. Under your data, click on where it says bank data. Once you click on bank data, click on the word international bank. If you don't, this one right here is for Brazil. International bank is everyone everywhere else. If you live inside the United States, the first four boxes, let's say your bank is Chase. Boy, my uh, computer is really slow right now. Let's say it's Chase. You would have Chase in all four boxes here. You guys see that? So... Basically, the reason why, when it says bank address, it's just Chase. If it's Bank of America, it's just Bank of America. Uh, so you're going to put that in every box, period, on those first four boxes. No address, uh, no addresses, no other information. It is just the name of the bank, okay? I don't know why, but that's how they have it in the system. So no SWIFT codes. We don't use those in the U.S. and no IBAN codes. The bank account name, that's going to be your name. Bank address, this is the bank's address. Now, under this field, guys, I've seen it work both ways. I've seen people put their actual home address in them, and the money still goes through. Uh, but the correct instructions is to put the local bank branch address there. And whatever your routing number is, you put it there. Whatever your account number is, you're going to put it in that box. And then hit Save Now. So, so very, very important, these first four fields, if you're inside the United States. Now, outside the United States, for banks that have SWIFT codes and IBAN codes, you're going to put those there. But inside the United States, not necessary. Everyone that does this correct, uh, they get paid. Darcy, are you still in line yes. with us? Yes. Did you get a nice fat deposit this morning? Yes, I did. It was nice to wake up to. Uh, and I did, too, guys. And, and they take out a $10 fee. Uh, for your bank wire, it comes into your account, but it comes in kind of like a direct deposit. So I haven't talked to a ton of people today that have gotten those deposits. Everybody that does it right, you make your request. And, again, it has to be a minimum of $300. Make your request on Tuesday morning before 12 noon Eastern. And then next week, next week, ladies and gentlemen, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that's when those deposits start to hit. Okay. Unfortunately, guys, i got to go uh, take care of a little uh, family emergency here, but that, that kind of concludes our training uh, at this point for today. But we do have a call coming up tonight at 8 Eastern, so I want to make sure everybody's on that call. Guys, invite as many people as possible. Darcy, thank you so much for your help on the call today, and uh, as well as I want to thank Kelly uh, for your help, and we'll see everybody tonight at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until then, this call is officially over. Thank you so much, each and every person, um, for getting on the call. And we'll see everybody soon. Appreciate you guys. Take care. Bye for now.